Rhino, rhino feeder. Oh, I, 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 I was dreaming about muffins. I wake up every morning feeling awesome. Even though I slept on the remote again last night. Ow, time to tear up another day. This strong bad freaking way. Like an imploding star, like a burning car. My style shines so bright. Please stop trying to handle my style, cause you can't. No, you can't uh, handle my style. Seriously, quit trying to handle my style, unless you're a lady. Oh. Then you're cordially invited to have a giant slice of my style. I'm gonna check my email, my email, my email. I'm gonna check my what? Dear Strongbad, I've got a question. If you hate Homestar so much, why don't you just beat the snot out of him? Are you chicken or something? Confust, N-E-M, Frenchtown, California. First of all, I don't think a Frenchie like yourself is in any position to be calling anyone chicken. Comprendez-vous, cordon bleu? Secondly, I'm pretty sure I don't want to beat the snot out of Homestar. I mean, have you ever listened to the guy? He's obviously got a lot of gunk up there. I could probably handle beating the tar, the stuffing, or the into next week out of him, though. Welcome to Let's Play Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive People. Homestar ruin it. Oh, I'm sorry. I ruined it for you. I was going to say episode one. Well, I was going to say, use my buddy. Booga booga. Elemental Ogre returns, as I'm sure many of you will be pleased, for Homestar Ruiner. Yay! Um, but you, but you. Homestar Runner and Strong Bad and all that whole deal has been kind of part of the formative part of our internet experience and honestly even our sense of humor. And if you don't know what Homestar Runner is... We'll see you in a week when yeah. you come back from go the website. Go check it out. We'll see you in a week. Because um, you will be gone for a while. Because you will end a cartoon, and then you go like, what happens next? So, with that said, admittedly, um, this is probably going to appeal more to people who know what's up with Homestar Runner. So, I do suggest, if only so you understand what's going on in here, go get a lay of the land. You will not regret it. It is hilarious. And we're going to have a lot of jokes and a lot of crap going on in here that are only really going to make sense if you've seen some of the cartoons. It is very, very continuity heavy through yeah. a lot of its jokes. Yeah, Homestar Runner was first... It was made in the Internet's formative years. Yeah, and it started in 1996 because they made a parody children's book around the 1996 Atlanta Olympics. And then come... The 2000s, they were one of the first Flash animations out there. Yeah, which, before, to tell you how old that is, was yeah, they before used to use YouTube, Flash. Before YouTube, before Newgrounds, I think. I think before Newgrounds, it was definitely like 2000s, and I really don't know when Newgrounds was popping up. Yeah, and it's like when what you had to do was make your own website, put your own crap on it, and just by word of mouth, people would find this crap because it was impossible to bloody talk to each other over the internet at That's the time. That's how we found it, was one of our friends showed it to us, and lo and behold, that was the end of that one. Was it David? It was David. I figured. Yeah, because this was, this was back when... That's the, a David thing. Yeah, this was way back when he had the very old computer that had the black screen with the green text on it. I can't yeah. remember what that one's called. But... Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive People, Episode 1. The Homestar Winner. Oh, dang, I ruined it again. No game! Oh, um, I forgot. Very in time with Homestar Runner. Yeah. This is like their title screens had like the same layout on the right with characters saying different things. Dang. Quit it. Next time on SBCG 4AP. Quit it. Quit it. No, you quit it, strong man. Moron. Settings. Save load. New game. Saving and loading. Now, some of these are stupid, and it's just them saying it, but if you go back and forth. 
Wait, is it my turn? <laughs> Alright, let's start this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's start this crap up. Such an evil wrestle man. I bet I could find Homestar down at Coach Z's track, running in place or something. Something stupid, I'm sure. From Homestar Runner? Perish the thought, my friend. So this is a um, telltale game. It's a point and click. And in turn, a point and click. Adventure so. game, because they grew up with Sierra and all those adventure games. That's so. where I keep discs 1 through 24 of all my favorite games. Hey, it's Peasant Quest, the game where you lose at the end. And the, ru the running gag, of course, being Homestar's computer is... Or not Homestar, Strongbad's computer is so horrendously old. <laughs> Even after he updated it, it yeah. was still horrendously old. I think the joke when he finally got a computer with a background to it was like almost a decade after the series started. <laughs> and that was still outdated. <laughs> ah, my trusty steed. Stooley, I'd ride you into email battle any day. And then make a remix song about the sound you make when you get up. I can't unplug the Lappy. It takes five to seven business days to fully charge the battery. Lappy don't charge on weekends. Which is weird because I went back and listened to the Get Up Noise song and I knew it by heart when it <laughs> started playing. I was like, oh no, I haven't listened to this in years. I put up that sign. But the stupid walls are still loafing all the time. Today's the day I finally give Homestar his long overdue pummeling. You see, it's even got the poorly drawn star on it. We've been waiting for this day. Intriguing. I should probably. And of course, the special switch designed specifically for the cheat. Check this out. <laughs> System. It's ah, I sometimes get tired of that. <laughs> okay, now apparently I'm supposed to click on this twice. Yeah, I'm definitely tired of that. Oh, he's tired of that. I don't think he's going to do that one again. And this is kind of cool because you actually get to see Holmes of Strong Bad's house. Which you've never seen before. Like, you've seen the individual rooms, but now you get to see how it works together. <laughs> hey, Strong Sam, you in there? Yes. Come on, it's let me in. Sloppy, I just want to punch you a few hundred times. Not interested. Ah, what a weenie. This is bad as that Frenchman from the email. This is Charlemagne, Strong Sad's plant. It used to be healthy, but after Strong Sad started talking to it, it decided to kill itself. That's not true. That's not what the note said. <laughs> what that, note? That's beyond believable, to be honest. <laughs> Hit me with your best food shot, fridge of mine. The only thing in here is some paleolithic fluffy puff mayonnaise. Looks like some fat buddy needs to go to the store. It was my turn last time. It's your turn all the times, apparently. I like how Strong Bad lumps everything <coughs> onto Strong Sad. I think Strong Sad <laughs> is the only responsible sibling. I can't use the wavy mic. It's doors stuck shut with nacho entrails and mangled action figures. <laughs> Whatever's gone on in that. I'll do the dishes I'm once our ski suit flinger gets fixed. Or Strong Mad's breakfast. Strong Mad will eat anything. <laughs> you gotta see it when Strong Mad shotguns one of these things. <laughs> 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 Let's just see what's in the old CD spinner. Oh, it's Strong Sad's copy of the best of Brit Pout, the 90s years. Okay, Not being a point and click, there's a hundred thousand things to click on, and you're missing out if you don't click on bloody everything you can click on. So I'm sorry if it takes us forever to get through anything. But on the upside... I'm not sorry, they get to hear the fantastic humor this game true. has to offer. But... On the upside, we're only going to have to go through this house once. Which you should be buying right now, <laughs> instead of sitting there watching us do this. Sounds like Coach Z has forced another one of his demos onto the world. <laughs> you sure it's a demo, not a demon? <laughs> I've had just about enough of that. Let's see what else is in there. Oh joy, it's that copy of Jane's ostentatious chamber music jam. I'd like to use this CD as a chamber pop. 
Mr. Darcy! Oh. I have a question, and this may be an annoying running gag here, but uh, how does he operate that thing with boxing gloves? That's a good question. <laughs> oh, oh, he just punches this? it. The cheats of sorted Latin rhythms? Enough with the music already. I think we're done with that then. That smoke detector hasn't had a battery since that day I made Strong Sad eat a 9 volt po boy. <laughs> I just love how it's like, it hasn't had a battery since <laughs> I made him eat it, but he makes it sound like yeah. there's no connection between <laughs> it. It's like, he ate a 9 volt battery, and now we don't have one in the smoke detector. There's nothing to it. Sometimes, I like to stand in front of my window and start flexing, in case a girl's volleyball team is walking by. You mean marzipan? I think you've said he's such a loser, really. <laughs> it was just that one, it's like, he's a loser. <laughs> the Luxa Lounger is even more comfortable in its ridiculously overextended mode. The Luxa Lounger is great for all my lounging-based needs, but man, does it take up a lot of real estate. In this room? I think you can stand a little more real estate here. <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot in here. Since the last sunset. Last. That's a horse. <laughs> okay, I didn't see the plaque. Richie, I thought it said Watch that's your freaking a horse. back, Squeaky. Man, that's one intimidating hush puppy. <laughs> okay, what else do we have? Okay, we got, got a basement, basement to go through, and this is apparently Strong Bad's room. You know what I need to add some much needed hua to my day? A little thing I like to call Teen Girl Squad! Teen Girl Squad! Teen Girl Squad! Cheerleader! So and so! What's your face? The ugly one! Okay, gals and gal related girls, we fit to look so good! The same! At the sub JV <laughs> basketball game tonight, all the cute boy pieces will be there! And maybe sloppy seconds for you! Ugh. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what it is, but Teen Girl Squad never really got me. It works better as the shorts that they make out of it. Okay, so how many do we have here? Plays until scene change. It's got basketball kissy face. I think you have to put it on one of them. I can practice my moves on this basketball. Oh, hey, basketballer. I know it's the wrong sport, but we can still get to first base. You don't got next. <laughs> oh. Phew. Gotta make sure my cover-up isn't flaking. Nope, horrible scarring acne is safely concealed. Ugh. Walking is like a fashion show for shoes! Okay, who's got a ringtone? This new Brain Creek ringtone is hot! Jugga jigga wugga, ding doodle ling doodle ling! Oh dang, was that Brain Creek? I love cheese. I mean Brain Creek. <laughs> I mean Brain Creek. <laughs> she got a mouse! She got a rat on her feet now. Ding doodle ling doodle ling! It's a text message! Maybe it's a boy! No, just me. Mm. Mm. Later on the game! Uh. uh oh, girl types. Gotta look good despite my hairless legs. Nothing impresses like a chest pass. He's on fire! One dollar. <laughs> you just throw a flaming basketball? What the heck? Hairspray. Cover your lungs, everyone! I gotta crisp these bangs up with some ozone killer hairspray! Uh. <laughs> She's got a full cloud over her head now. Red one on me, basketballer! I like the way you dribble up and down the court! Kurt says girls are a detriment to my game face. And I should spend more time in the showers. Teen Boy Stink! I think we have to have a word with their coach. <laughs> Boys love pubescence perfume! Accentuate the awkward! It's over! Oh, uh, I had one left. Uh, that was inexcusably in funny. I can't let the guys at the snooty independent record store see that. Negative 10 points. Maybe I should try combining some of my ideas on the same girl. Or maybe work on my comedic timing. Okay, I think we're done here. 
Maybe we'll do that another time. Maybe. Man, I can never get enough of that sassy, injury-prone Teen Girl Squad. The only thing that could possibly make their adventures even more unfortunate would be if I used those really cool Teen Girl Squad ideas I jotted down last night after a fried chicken pizza bender. That, uh, that hey, doesn't sound healthy. what happened to all my really hmm. cool Teen Girl Squad ideas? Hmm, we may have to find that at some yeah, point. Yeah, that's concerning. All right, the tarantula black metal detector. I had to sell like 500 magazine subscriptions to get this baby, but it was totally worth it to be able to shoot radioactive positrons into the Earth's crust in search of rusty pennies. Metal. <laughs> so there's a couple things you need to do in here, one of which was actually checking the drawing table. Um, the other one was we got that metal detector, which is going to be important for later Real on. Real quick, that Vitelectrics poster in the back there. Mm hmm that's my Videlectrics poster that I got for sending in ten bucks to become a member of the Videlectrics Good Graphic Kateers. That is the exact same one. Uh, that looks just exactly like the Nintendo Power one they used to have. Mm. I have that up in my room because I got like, I guess somebody sold a bunch of their Nintendo Powers mm. and I got it. Actually, I don't think they sold it with Nintendo Power. I think it just came with the games, so it was a poster in the games. Mm. And it showed, like, a bunch of the old NES games that first came out. And I liked it because one of the glass shards looks like Batman. Because <laughs> it has that, like, that point, but that, that curve that just makes it look like the cowl. Actually, they have Dragon Warrior on there, We too. use computers to make video games. I don't know why no one else has thought of that. Okay, so some things, not just for the sake of examining everything, but some things will contribute to a, um, I'll get to this in a second, kind of an exploration score that you get. and You mean like the points in an adventure game? Sort of like that, yeah. And so doing things like this uh, Vitelectrics poster, you have to examine it twice in order to get your points. Seven hit, uh, not a short track. seven track. Your lack of a play button was your undoing. <laughs> Does it have a play that'd, button? Uh, that'd do it, yeah. kind of undermines the whole thing Bus, in the machine. Punch, right? snakes. Okay, show me that logo. Do, 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 do. Awesome, Snake Boxer 5. So much better than the unfortunate Snake Boxer 4, Lady Snake Parade. Use the keyboard. Okay, so I actually get to... Okay, S is start. Come on, box those snakes. Everybody oh. knows the game cheats. Gotta block those things. Your Cobra style is no match for the way of the drunken five pixel power punch. Five pixels? I think you'd be lucky if there were four in there. Where's the hot girl that tells me what round it is? Oh, I see her. I think she's that box. This is a lot harder than it needs to be. Yeah, this is actually kind of hard. Take that! I wonder if this snake is stuffed with lots of little snakes. That would be terrifying. I'm just kind of trying to figure out you, it's like, you know this is an old-school game, the fact that you're boxing a snake. Like, how would that work in real life? <laughs> like, does the snake just bite your boxing gloves, or...? The black border is really great in how it lets you imagine a crowd cheering you on. Kapow! I did it! Uh-oh, huh. new snakes. No way! Okay, so I'm probably I'm just gonna kind of punch him loose. My oh no, I have lives. Yeah, you get those little blocks at the end or the Ooh, lives. Right okay, the well face. I can maybe beat this round then. You're doing pretty good. You already got most of its health down. Body punch. It's just like any other good game, mutton butt. Uh, mutton, uh, oh, hold on. Hit no, it with a lamb chop. Oh no, another one. Upper blow. It's an even faster snake now. An even more powerful Look bite on it. Eye, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm going down to this guy. Quit biting me, snake! 
Unless you can punch the crap out of this one with your boxing glove. It's nice when I can, like, get it there and hit it, like, 14 times. Stop trying to get the first base with me! Are you trying <laughs> what the crap? Another one? Your oh, the red snake must be the no final one, because the red means of the bad drunken things. Five pixel power punch. <laughs> so you can punch him 14 times. Are you telling me you're 14 times, man? I'm not even going to try to guard Body anymore. Punch. I'm just going to punch. What the crap, more? <laughs> well, this is based off those old games that you either win... Into, uh, Ooh, right in the face. You, you just keep going until the game, you just feel like quitting for the time being. So as it turns out, my downfall was no trying to play the game and not just mashing me. the button. Take that! Kapow! Take turns that. out, punch Because as it turns out, just standing here doing nothing but punching, Kapow! far more, no, effic far more effective. No match for the way of the drunken five pixel power punch! Have we already seen a yellow one? I don't think so. I feel like we're getting the Body rainbow punch. here. Yeah, that's right. Keep running back and forth in front of me. Taste my glove, Snakey. <laughs> Ooh, right There's in the Indigo. Face. So apparently, it turns out whenever it's you're oh, I got me. Ah, oh, that was your last oh, life. My hand slipped off the controller. All right. That was awesome. The only thing that could make Snake Boxer Five even cooler is using that secret code to unlock the game's controversial hidden mode. It's a good thing I wrote down the code in the manual, right? Over. Hey, who took my Snake Boxer 5 manual? Maybe we should be on the lookout for that one. Yep, that is something else to look into. What else do we have here to look at? There's a big old pile of clothes. A messy it's pile. It's possible that my bed's under there, but I'm not touching it to find out. <laughs> All right. And a limousine. Yeah. <laughs> These crepes are delicious. Uh, I keep defining on my loans. Okay, that actually went longer than I thought. So we're gonna come down here and we're gonna go say hi to the cheat next time, because I'm sure by this point we've gone on for way too long. <laughs> I'm just enjoying the pennant of his university back there <laughs> that he makes up in an email and then suddenly he's a real university, <laughs> as is the norm in the Strong Bat in the Homestar Runner universe. All right, until next time, everybody. We're almost out of Strong Bat's house. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see.